What's up guys, I'm Dr. Doodle and today I'll show you how to create a flask just like that. So let's get started. All right, so I've created an A4 size document and let's set up the greet by going to preferences, guides and greet and greet line every one centimeter with 10 subdivisions. Let's click OK, go to view and show greet. Now let's start by drawing the top of the flask. Let's draw an, an ellipse going like this. Zooming a little bit, go to selection tool, press the option key on your keyboard and drag down a little bit to create another copy of this ellipse. And now we're going to uh, center everything to the artboard. So select these two and go to window, align, align to artboard and horizontal align. There we go. Let's zoom zoom back in use the line segment tool to connect these two ellipses like this and like that and now we're going to use the shape builder tool to essentially build a shape that looks more like a realistic um, top so it's right here shape builder tool shift m as a shortcut click and drag to merge those figures those shapes that you want to combine and now it's looking like this pretty good. So right now I'm going to go and show the rulers on the edges. There we go. And I'm going to click and drag from the from the vertical ruler to create a guide. A guide is going to show me, um, for example, the very half of the artboard. And now I can go on and draw the body of the flask. I'm going to use the pen tool right here. Click and select pen tool. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Let's start around here. Let's go a few few subdivisions inside and then just let's go there. Let's just click there, open up to the characteristic shape of the Erlenmeyer flask. Uh, somewhere around there and see what it looks like. Click there and then go and click on the very center where we marked our guide. Now I'm just going to press escape to stop the pen tool and I'm going to press V to go to our direction tool. Good. So now I have half of it. I'm just going to go work on the curves of each stroke. So I'm going to select the, I'm going to click and hold pen tool and then go to the anchor point tool. So with this, we're going to soften these edges. So click on the anchor. One click erases everything. So let's just go back again and try something like this. So that's looking pretty good. So now let's select this line. Actually, let's just go and do these strokes right here. Click and drag and this is just very minor, but sometimes the detail, the details make it look better. Right. So direct uh, selection tool, select this and go right click, um, transform, reflect. Gonna, we want a copy of it of, of a vertical uh, reflection. So there we go. I'm going to do shift and the keypad to move it around. If it's not completely on the center as we want it, let's just go and click in and move it to the next point. That is looking pretty good. And now we, we actually need to combine these two shapes because they are separated. So I'm going to go back to where it was, direct selection tool, select this anchor point click on the other anchor point and right click and choose join. Now I can go ahead and go to my selection tool and there we go. Um, this is a little bit off center. So I'm going to go ahead and click align again. So that's looking pretty good. I'm going to hide the grid for a moment, hide the guides for a moment and Let's copy this whole thing. Uh, 
I'm gonna reduce its size a little bit. Command C to copy, Shift Command V to paste in place, which is essentially right on top of where it was, and Shift and Keypad to move it around. I want to create the content of this flask. So I don't want the top of the flask anymore. So I'm going to go with my direct selection tool, the white one, and hit erase. Now, this might be it, just with the little ellipse right here, the, the liquid inside, but it's probably too high. So I'm going to go and um, select add an icon point. Let's bring back the grid for a moment. Somewhere around here, I'm going to create another anchor point and another direct selection tool, select the top ones, delete. Now that I have these, I'm going to hide the grid and I'm going to go back to the ellipse tool. Let's start by drawing something like this. Now, if you want to make it fit and it's not working properly, we might have to turn off snap to grid, the snap to grid function. So let's go to view and uncheck snap to grid. And let's just go and manually put it in. That's looking all right. Perhaps we're gonna make it a little bit bigger. Just like that. And back to place. So now, since we did this with um, control C paste in place, it might be able to fit just like that. But sometimes it changes when we, yes, yeah, since we turned off snap to grid, now it's not fitting in. But we can still do, let's select everything and align to the center. And there we go, everything is back in place. So now we can go ahead and color this piece right here. Say we want a blue like that. And for the bottom part, we want a deeper blue. Something like this. Yeah, something like that. It's looking all right. Let's remove the stroke from this one to make it look a little bit more realistic. I wanna add a little bit of highlights and shadows to make it look uh, a little bit better. So I'm gonna go and select my lips tool again, create a, a one that is gonna be sitting right here in the bottom, as if it was the darker shade where you're looking at it. And if you want a color that matches, just select one, make sure it's activated, go to color guide, and this might show you tints, shades. If you go here, it will show you warm and cool, leave it or muted, depending on what you want. So I want something darker, not that one, but this one, something like that perhaps. I think this, that looks a little bit better. And what else? Now let's uh, create another layer to keep things neat. Uh, let's go with the, side, the line segment tool as before. And let's create a, a scale, a graduation for, for this flask. There we go, no color selected. Let's go with white, round cap, round corner. And let's go with the pen tool again, unselect this. Pen tool, Ooh, this pen tool, and let's create the edges of the, of the scale from the outside into the, the new line. Since I'm in another layer, I can go ahead and select things without mixing, mixing them together. And yes, we have a round cap around corner. So that's looking all right. Let's put in a label with the, red, the rectangle tool. Let's just create a, a rectangle like this. Use uh, the selection tool to click on these little circles and round the edges. And to give it a little bit of perspective, let's just rotate a little bit. Something like this. And paint it white. And let's change the stroke Let's unlock this layer. Let's change the stroke of these to perhaps something bluish that resembles glass. And finally, I feel like uh, I might add a little bit of text. Let's say this is a 500 mil flask. Escape to modify it. Let's go to white stroke 
color and let's just move it rotate it a little bit for perspective that's looking all right finally i'm going to lock these two layers create a new layer to add a highlight since it's glass it might shine so let's select every uh, let's let's have a clear view of the whole thing and we're going to use a brush to do this so let's go to window and select brushes these are different sizes so i'm going to go with the biggest one and select the brush tool so there we go perhaps i want to modify it double click on it it's 15 points so let's say i want 10 points there we go it reduced in size a little bit so here's the tricky part you have to be um, careful to get it right on the edge something like that it's looking all right so i'm gonna select this one and as you can see it's just a simple line with the brush surrounding so i'm gonna go to object expand appearance and now it has anchor points all around it and I can modify its appearance and, and size and, and, and the edges right here. So I'm gonna select my sele uh, direct selection tool, one anchor point at a time, and I want to modify the end of this highlight right here. If you want to modify just one handle, go to the pen tool, press the option key and move as you need it. I don't want that, so I'm gonna undo it. So if you want to modify both of them, click on it with the direct selection tool and move them. They're gonna move together. And perhaps something like that. And on the top, I think I like it just the way it is. And just to wrap it up, let's select this highlight and go to gray, uh, sorry, transparency, which you can find in the window right here. Let's go to transparency and reduce the opacity to, I don't know, maybe 50%. So it doesn't look too strong on the surface. Something like that makes it look a little bit more realistic. And there you have it. I hope this was useful to you. Let me know if you need something specifically. I can maybe make a video of it. So I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.